Welcome back to another video, part three. Today we are going to be lapping the valves, installing the new stem seals. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. Building back, you know, building up the head. Probably I might not install it on the block tonight, but um, we'll see. It's fucking freezing, and I've got a little heater there. That was last part testing. Where is it? 2005 so if we don't set on fire we'll be all right but anyway um one thing i just want to say is a massive thank you to you guys um you know the people that take the time to watch my videos uh like the videos and also comment i get quite a few comments also uh, on instagram as well so it's really good and you know a lot of people asking me you know when's the next video out i can't wait to see it so i'm absolutely buzzing and um you know I just do it to document it, um, but it's awesome that uh, people are interested. Gav at Baytech, you asked me what uh, size bearings that I used. As you know, ACL, journal bearings, and these are the standard ones. Don't know if you can read that. Also, Conrad bearings as well, the code for them. And then, as I call them, the thrush washers or... Uh, there you go so hopefully that'll help you mate and everybody who hasn't um, seen uh, Baytex videos you want to go and check him out he's got a K20 or K-swapped uh, RX-7 it's absolutely dynamite it's a beautiful car something that I personally would love to do as well uh, so yeah go and hit him up go and uh, show him some love so let's get cracking before we jump into it I forgot totally to show you this on the last video. So there you go. Four banger, ready to go. So I'll just set that back like that. This is the head off the new engine that we got. The old one's down there. So I might have a go at uh, trying to port that. Um, see what happens there. Then we've got a spring compressor all the way from China. Um, what else we've got? We've got fine grade and coarse grade uh, lapping compound, and these are the OEM um, uh, stem seals. Off camera, I've had a uh, a go with this, uh, with the uh, spring compressor. As you can see, I've uh, made like a little thing over here, so I know where each one goes, and then on top of the box there. So I'll just take them out as and when. Obviously, a keeper came out. A couple of them have been really hard <clears throat> to compress. Basically, it's pushing the um, valve down. Now, I had a quick look on a YouTube video. It says put a cloth underneath, but for some reason, those really, really stuck. But anyway, I've uh, got rid of that. So hopefully, all being well now, if I can position you, you should be able to see what I'm doing. So... Try it with this one. It's not an actual. It's not actually a bad tool. This, so it's a. I think I paid nineteen quid for it off eBay. So not bad. There we go. Don't know how well you can see that. But basically what's doing is compressing the spring and then the keepers come out. Now I've got a little magnetic tool. That's one keeper out. Uh, there you go. So that's one of them. Yeah. Two. Put another there. Undo this. Before, it just wouldn't do it. It kept pushing the valve down. So there must have been stuck or probably that gunked up. Um, 
then that's your spring and your, your top part, I think it is. Put that at number 10, lift the head up, push the valve out. And there you go, stem seal. That can go in the bin. We don't need Last two to do. Some of these have been a right pain. So if you fight this, it's sorted. Right, that's popped in. So that's all the uh, stem seals, the valves, exhaust, intake, the springs, the keepers, um, the bottom seats or spring seats. It's all out. So I think it's time to flip her over. 
and get grinding. Ports one and two have been done. Just done them now. So these are the remaining exhaust ports that need uh, lapping. So same. Cutting edge on there. So what I'm gonna do now is do two, sorry, three, four, five, six, and seven. These are the pace that you get. So that's the coarse grip. You can see it's well, you can see the bits in there, and then that's the um fine paste. What I'll probably do as well is clean all this gunk off the bottom of the valves. I'll do that with the intake. The intake ports are quite clean to be honest, so they'll probably just need a the coarse grip. So all I do stick a bit of the coarse paste onto the valve just underneath. Well that's what I have been doing. Putting a fair bit on, not going like too mad. Just making sure the top's clean, otherwise the plunger won't sit on it. <clears throat> and then just a bit of lube on the stem. Also just be careful not to get any of that um, paste onto this, otherwise you'd be fucked. If it's like grit, it'd be like sandblasting your engine. Get your plunger whacker on the top. And then what I've been doing as well is just rotating it like 90 degrees, going again. But you can already hear it, it's starting to go quiet. It's boring as hell this. It takes ages. But if we get more horsepower, happy days. When I say more horsepower, it doesn't lose horsepower. Be alright if it like made fucking 50 brake more doing this. This isn't with any force by the way. Just purely just giving it its own weight.
job that was. What a job. It was that bad. I left it for a week, well, about a week and a half anyway. Uh, just finished the last four off. Um, so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you the uh, valves that I've lapped as well. And then we'll get uh, back into fitting the stem seals, the valves, and also the springs. So I can use my little spring compressor now, so that should be working all right. You're not going to be able to see that much, but um, focus. There you go. There's a little bit. I'll probably just uh, quickly do a little bit more on that valve. But other than that, bling bling. So now what I'm going to do is put these stem seals in. So the black, uh, these are OEM stem seals, by the way, if you can see them. So the black, uh, <clears throat> the back band that goes on the uh, exhaust side and then the silver one that goes on the intake side. So we don't need them at the moment. Now I've just had a, a quick crack at it. Basically all I'm using is a, a rubber mallet and a 10 mil socket. So cringe away, but basically making sure that you get it all in line. And then like I say, just uh, you know, it's good, but you can feel tell when it's gone on and when it's seated so I'll get rid of that so I don't put the uh, intake one on now there's a tool for this but I haven't got it so I'm basically making do you can tell when it's bottomed out because it starts making the making the noise Plus I already had a picture from before as well, so I know what the clearances should be. Like that now. It's bottomed out. Just make sure. Right, got it flipped around. One thing to uh, note as well is that um, I've also put the the spring seats in, and I've also put the springs in as well for the uh, for the cams. I'll just do the same process, just sliding these babies in. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but. You know, sometimes you've got to improvise.
We there we go. Valves are in, spring are in, keeps are in. <clears throat> These keepers um, are a bit of a nightmare to get in, but once we get into a routine of it, it's just a you know, you can basically feel and sense when it's going to work or not. But you've probably seen me use. It's got like a little magnet on there, but um, I used a bit of assembly lube just to basically get the first one to stick, and then used um, you know that uh, magnetic pen just to uh, push it in, and then a little um, precision uh, screwdriver just to hold the other keeper in. Um, it is quite fiddly, but obviously once you get into the routine of it, it's bang on. Um, but yeah, I can't rate this little kit. Little spring compressor enough. 18 quid off eBay, absolutely bang on. So what's left to do now is I'm gonna clean underneath the head, um, just clean the block, and then I'm gonna put this head on, and that's where I'm gonna leave it there. So I'm gonna get onto that now and just start get cracking. That's the ARP studs in. Um just Put in finger tight and then a little turn with the Allen key as well, um, nice and snug. So that's all of them done. Um, now put the, the head gasket on. The block and the, uh, and the head's been cleaned. Should be uh, nice. Alright, I haven't lubricated these for obvious reasons, I don't want to get it on the inside of the head, so we'll do that in a second. Here's the head, so just try and line it up as best I can. a bit of persuasion. Yeah, there we go. Get no persuasion. Get some gloves on for the messy stuff. Get her all lubed up. This is 40 foot pound.
now 60 foot pound Again, just following the uh, what Humber Manual says. One. And go to eighty. This is the final one. Concentration.
just check them. Voila, just done. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that marathon of a video. Yeah, it's been a, a testing one, um, but certainly something that I've proper, you know, taken in and learned what I've been doing. Obviously, looking at the instruction, um, the service manual. Um, but yeah, like I say, she's built the heads on. Obviously, got to get it timed up now. Now I've got next week off, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So there's going to be plenty of videos. I'll just keep churning them out every week. Um, but yeah, really, 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 really buzzing now. Just want to kind of get it all built up and get it all done. Obviously, there's so much more to do. But um, yeah, it's definitely been a massive learning curve. Uh, and hopefully I've done it all right. Um, well, we'll see when uh, <laughs> we go to get it started up. But um, yeah, like I say, guys, uh, you know, I really do appreciate you watching. Um Obviously, you know, I don't know how to build engines. I'm just kind of going with it and trying to learn. So, obviously, don't copy me because I don't want you ruining your engines. But, um, you know, if you're new to the channel, obviously, if you don't mind subscribing, obviously, it helps us out. If you've got any comments, whatever it is, you're just passing through, just say hello. Just bang it down. Uh, also, I'm on Instagram, so go and follow me on there. Um, and I think that's about it. So, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, it should be out in about a week's time. So... I'll um, get this up, be working in the background, and by the time you've uh, watched this, then a week later, new video. So uh, anyway guys, thank you again, see you in the next one, peace.